Hello everybody, I would like to start, uh, start off with a warning, there is blood in this, so if you don't like blood, you might not want to watch this. But, uh, so, um, I'd like to talk about what, uh, happened in DC. I, I, uh, I went to DC about a month ago, and I was like, you know what, I never really got to talking about really what happened there. I only had, like, a video of the hotel room, now don't get me wrong, I like the hotel room and all. But I never really explained, like my true stories over at DC and so I'm gonna share a little bit of my experiences that I mainly remember trust me there's like a couple of these things and uh oh gosh sorry my like my throat is like killing me right now but also I've recorded Killer Instinct here just so you can get entertained by the way also another update real quick before I talk about my DC trip my laptop still is messed up don't know what's wrong with it um still I've been now I'm pretty sure it's either the hard drive or the fan it's, I turn it on and it's working a little bit, but if I keep it on too long, it starts making chipping noises and it's freaking me out. So, I need to go get myself a, you know, a mechanical person, well, okay, someone who knows how to work with laptops, if not, then I'm going to have to get another laptop, probably scrap it. I don't, I don't think I should scrap a laptop, that's crazy. But, um, that's mainly an update for laptops. I was still on an Xbox One, as you can tell, I'm doing Killer Instinct stuff, so I'm still on Xbox One, but uh, I'm having kind of fun on it, but I'm still missing my friends on PC, kind of, but you know, it's still good. So, I'm going to tell you my story now, sorry for, just to ha I had to throw that out there, I forgot about my laptop, you gotta get an update on that. Also, my uploading uh, speeds uh, will be lower because, you know, I mean, I'm busy with school and stuff. I mean, uh, it's my senior year and I'm about to graduate, so I'm gonna graduate like towards the uh, end of the school semester. It's not there yet, but you know, I'm already, I'm already feeling the pain of sadness of, you know, I mean, I've, I've loved the school. You know, I, I love to go into the school and all that. But I'll say that for other time. But uh, now I'm gonna share the story to DC. Now DC, <laughs> DC is a strange place. Well, for for a guy who's living in like Tennessee and like the South, it's a pretty weird place to go to, especially if you're a guy who eats pizza rolls and like put, sits down and plays video games almost like every day of your life. Like, I mean, it, it, it's a strange place, trust me. Like, I've never eaten fancy food before, so going to DC is strange. Now, when we go to the hotel, we had to eat like fancy stuff and all that. It was insane. Well, for me, it was not insane. It was it was a good time. I loved going to D.C. I loved going there and everything, seeing all the new things. I've never been, like, so far out of my comfort zone in my entire life. Like, it was insane. Because my uh, I was nowhere near my family. It was mainly my friends and my teacher. Which I won't tell any of their names. Well, you, you already know two of them from my roommates, but... Unless they would fine with that, but I, I don't think they, I mean, I, I respect their privacy, and I don't, I'm not gonna, you know, freak out and be like, hey, you, you, these people, no, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll respect their privacy if they want to keep it, but, uh, DC had a lot of places, we went to the, what, I lost track, okay, we went to the Holocaust Museum, we went to, well, I got to see the monument, we didn't get to go in the monument, like the Washington Monument, I was pretty sad about that, but it was alright. Got a picture in front of the monument, and uh, got to see Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln was pretty huge. Well, he's not—he wasn't as big as I thought he would be, but he's pretty big. And uh, there was Thomas Jefferson one. Thomas Jefferson one actually looked a little bit taller than the Abe Lincoln one, but eh, it's fine about that. But going to D.C., there is—it's it, strange, like super strange. Because when you go to D.C., it's just like. Everything's new and all that. Like, as soon as I got off the airport, they had iPads in the airport. I was like, they have, like, tablets and stuff in the airport. I was like, in the Dixon, no, not Dixon, in the Nashville airport for, uh, in Tennessee. I mean, well, yeah, it looked pretty fancy, but, I mean, there were no, there were no tablets and iPads and all that. It was, it was amazing. It was cool for me. It was so brand new. So, they have metal detectors. There were so many metal detectors, I will tell you that right now. I had to take off my belt so many times, it was insane. Like, I took one off, I was like, alright, new metal detector, take off my belt. And then so, I could, I took on off a lot of the times, I was like, you know what? Taking it off, taking it off. And so, what happened, uh, one time, like, I've taken my belt off like five times already. We walked down there, and I thought we were going to the Christmas tree. So I take off my belt, like, before we even walk over there, I'm like, I'm like, okay. And then we take a right and we don't even go there. And I'm like, 
gosh dang it, you know, I'm freaking out because, you know, I already took on my belt by an accident, you know, you know, I'm sorry if it starts pouring right now, but it starts to build up, trust me, and, uh, so, um, they were, they were reconstructing the Capitol building for, you know, the Congress and that, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna take a picture of it. So I'm walking, and I'm trying to take a picture of it, and then I just slam right into a pole in my right leg. Like, it was so close to, you know, a place where it shouldn't hit that it would have uh, made me start going on the floor and start crying. Okay, not really crying, but, you know, I'd shrivel up. And luckily for me, I, I didn't hit, but I still got hit in the pole in my leg, and it hurt like heck. And two people just saw it, and they just started laughing. I was like, well, I mean, I can understand. It was funny to see. I mean, I got, obviously, I kept walking. I kept going. I'm a soldier. So, yeah. But... Um, doing that, I mean, it was fun. I, we got to go on the subway and all that for the first time, you know, got to walk around. I got hit by a pole. You know, I, I've been nothing but, like, walking and walking and walking in dress shoes. And wearing being fancy is insane. Also, being in D.C., I heard nothing but the whip and the nay nay. Oh, my goodness. You know, you know, if you haven't seen my nay nay man is evil video, it's a very inspirational video. You should probably go watch it, but... Oh! Like, as soon as they hit the, the, you know, there's a dinner. There's, like, this dance thing. No, not dance. All right, wait. Okay. It's, there's this uh, fancy lunch thing. And I went to go eat at it. Now, I am probably not the best at being fancy when it comes to manners. Now, and I mean, I've got manners. I chew with my mouth closed. I don't put, well, sometimes don't put my elbows on the table, you know, stuff like that. Except, you know, my food was touching. And, you know, I had an issue when a chicken was touching mashed potatoes and green beans, okay? I had a big issue with that. So I wanted to just eat the chicken. So I tried to eat the chicken, and I was eating the chicken. I loved the chicken. I loved the chicken. So as soon as I was eating it, uh, I realized there was a bone inside this chicken. I did not know there was a bone in it, so it was stuck in my mouth, and I didn't understand how these, how where to put the thing, where like the bone at. And they were like, use the napkin. I'm like, what napkin? And then the napkins there are like cloth. So I, I'm confused. I've never been into this kind of thing before. I mean, like, there's a place called Old Charlie's. I've been to that, but I don't eat like fancy people. So. I told this lady who was next to me, not gonna tell her name either, I don't even know her name, but this lady was from Delaware, and like, it was crazy for me because of the fact that I had to, I mean, I was talking, well, sorry, it was it was only crazy after the part, like, I was always asking, hey, is there a dance? And she's like, yeah, you can, uh, you know, when you go to the dance, you can whip and nay-nay all you want, I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, I, I hated hearing that, so, and then I told her about how I wanted to be the poster boy for... Uh, pizza rolls and bust through the walls like the Kool-Aid man, but I bet you I, I I'm just a complete embarrassment. I bet I was, but I mean I still liked it. I was uh you know I had a good time there. I I could have stayed a couple more days or something like that. Like I I I loved it, but after that um I was like okay you know that's fine. And then after the lunch, this lady started singing and it was like okay it was awesome. Then they started playing Whip and Nay Nay, and I hated it. Like, as soon as that happened, I was like, come on. Like, how many Whip and Nay Nays are you going to do? Now, 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 if you like the Whip and Nay Nay, I don't, I don't mind, okay? Like, it's just, it's more of a comedy aspect for me with the, with the Whip and the Nay Nay. But if, like, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, but I don't hate it. I don't hate you if you like the Nay Nay or anything, or the Whip and the Nay Nay. My issue is just the Nay Nay, so you can whip all you want. I'm just kidding. But. So after that, we go, oh, uh, there's this dance. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going to go to the dance. So I walked to the dance, and uh, turns out I forgot my room key. So I had to get my room key back for someone, and then I had to give it back to one of my my, my roommates. Ugh, so much stuff to do, I swear. It was insane for me. And then when I went down there, uh, one of my roommates told me that they played the Whip and Nene, and uh, about two minutes later, I straight up walked out of there, and I went back to my room and fell asleep. Well, I didn't go, to, okay, yeah, I went to sleep, yeah. No, I tried to go to sleep. I think, okay, I don't know, I don't remember. And also, I saw this weird man, I think he was staring at me through the window, like, across the building, it was pretty weird. I mean, it was a figure there, and when I woke up, he was gone, so, I was thinking he was staring at me while I was sleeping. I mean, I know I'm majestic when I sleep, but, you know, pretty freaky stuff. So, after that, um, I decided to, you know, Go to, let's see, there was another store, okay, there was the whip and the nay nay, and then there was, okay, I tried to go to sleep in one of the clubs, I'm, 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 ah, okay, I'm not gonna explain all of it, but I did go to, uh, the subways, got through all that, okay, wait, alright, this is confusing for me, I'm sorry, but at least you're enjoying this gameplay, you know, it's pretty awesome gameplay, okay, so, what happened was, um, I was trying to sleep, and when my roommate started playing the whip and they out of nowhere, and I was trying to sleep, you know, and you go play this evil song that I do not like, 
is this thing. Also, we got to see Arlington. Forgot to mention that. You know, I, this whole entire uh, story thing is jambled, so, you know, it's, it's, it's crossways. But, so, uh, when I went to... Okay, you see, when you go to DC, there was even a, they had a bunch of fancy food over at the hotel. I was getting tired, so tired of fancy food, you have no idea. So I was like, okay, you know what, there's a deli, there's a deli, like, right across the hotel. I was like, you know what, I'm going to go buy a pizza. So I bought a pizza about for five, five or seven dollars, so it's two slices of pizza for and uh, sprite that's that's pretty much it for something i was like you know that's, that's not a bad deal but the pizza looks like cardboard and i was like okay you know i'm fine and i ate it you know it was fine pizza i go downstairs through the elevator no i didn't even go to the elevator i was going downstairs to the escalators in the building i found out their dinner was pizza and i was like you know i wasted my money and it made me kind of sad because i didn't want my money wasted I was just like, you know, I, I just didn't want to waste, my money was all like, you know, hey, don't want to get wasted. So, after that, I was pretty, uh, pretty upset. I mean, I, I didn't get mad, but, I, you know, I was, I was kind of sad, you know, I just, I just lost $7 right there. And then, you know what sucks even more? The pizza actually tasted better than the deli's pizza. I was like, dude, are you serious? Like, I, I was kind of sad, let's just say. All that, I was all like, oh. But, I mean... I mean, I can't help it. I'm not mad. I mean, I really enjoy it. Don't 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 get me wrong. But uh, hold up a second. I will bear back. Okay, now we're gonna get to a uh, basically a different part. Now you're gonna see another loop in this video just because I'm gonna replace it. I'm gonna cut out the rest that I don't. Know. But I'm gonna tell you a story. Like, there's this mall in DC. It's got four stories. I was like, dang, this is a pretty big place. And then it's filled. Oh my goodness. It's. I mean, yeah, you can go anywhere you want, but like, it's filled. There's so many people there. So, what happens? What happened there was uh, I walked in there. Like, this is when we were in our little groups and stuff. I was with my friend. And well, one my two friends, and so we were walking, and uh, this one lady, she comes by, she, like I walk by her, uh, you know, her stand or whatever, like her concession, or like you know, nail polish stand or whatever the heck it was. She tried to sell me stuff, and I was like, no, thank you. And she's like, it's for your mom. And I don't know what was going through my head, but I looked at her, like I had my shoulders up and I had my jacket on, or my blazer on, and then I looked at her. And I was like, I don't have a mom. Oh, I didn't even look at her. I was like shaking my head, and I was like, I don't have a mom. And then I walked away. My friend was like, did you really just tell her that? And I was like, wait, what did I tell her? Because my brain, like, I don't know what was going on. I was on autopilot the entire time or something like that. And she's like, you just told that lady you don't have a mom. I was like, I was like, what? And I looked back at her and I was already, too, I was like, I'm, I guess it's too late. I'm already too far away. But um, I felt really bad. I really did. I was like, dang, I just told this person I didn't have a mom. I was like, geez. And I'm like, I do have a mom, by the way. I mean, she's pretty cool. She makes awesome banana bread and stuff. You know, she's pretty awesome, but... I was just surprised as the heck. And I was just, you know, I was like, dang, I can't believe I just said that to somebody. So, also, uh, when the game stopped, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna buy me the Star Wars hat, which I currently still have. And it's basically, you know, it's got the First Order and the Resistance on it. So, it was pretty cool. It's like that hat, you know, it's a great hat. You probably see it at GameStop. I had to wait in line so long just to get that hat. It was insane. And then... We couldn't even find the price for it. I was like, okay, yeah, this is even better. So it turns out the price was like fourteen dollars to what they thought, but it was actually twelve dollars. So I saved some money on that. And then uh, this one guy, he holds his hand out like the cashier. He holds his hand out like with his fist though, with his fist. So I was thinking, okay, in my brain, I was thinking, okay, he wants a fist bump explosion. So I fist bump exploded him, and like he looked at me like I was some insane dude. Like he straight up looked at me like. What? Like, he, he was so confused, and, all, and I, then I started getting confused. I was like, what is going on here? And he turns his hand over and has his, opens his hand up, and he has change in his hand. I didn't know he was going to drop change in my hand. I really had no clue what he was doing. I was, he was looking at me like, huh? And then I, I was like, well, uh, I didn't know. Um, then he said, you know, he, he said, he told me, in quote, you know, I gotta admit, that was pretty dorky. And I was like, dang. Like, I was like, that's kind of mean. Then he says, but then again, we're in GameStop, so everybody's dorky. I was like, oh, that's kind of true. I mean, like, hey, man, you know, in my opinion, if you don't want to be called dorky, don't be called dorky. That's it. I, I mean, I'm not going to call anyone dorky, but if you don't want to get called dorky. Hey, I was fine with getting called dorky. It was pretty funny. Then I advertised my YouTube channel to him, and uh, I don't think he ever checked it out, which made me kind of sad. So it's okay. Uh, but, yeah, if, uh, if 
But if you, you know, go to DC and you know, see this guy at GameStop and you know he's a cashier at the uh, you know the mall and he's got like black hair or something and, you know I, I, all I remember is black hair and he's a dude I'll just tell him that you know Sir Derpy Creeper sent you and he said uh that uh just for, just tell him it was the guy who fist pump exploded him he should probably remember him and if he doesn't uh Victory. tell him about the whip in the day I'm kidding but legit that's mainly all I have to share about you know what happened in DC but I might have some more you know stuff if I, if it, if it recalls in my brain I'll remember some stuff but that's pretty much it also we went into route 21 that was a really weird place to go into we were just looking for friends and then yeah yeah that was odd but so we walked out but I mean there's nothing really else I think that mainly you know happened as you see what there is I'll probably try to you know make other videos about it well that's mainly all I did so, uh, thank you for watching, if you're watching, sorry if I sound tired, I'm doing this late at night, but if you find this entertaining at all, you know, uh, that's awesome, thank you for watching, and, you know, support me from the, the torture I had to go through about the whip and the nay nay, you can, uh, you can donate your subscriptions or your likes to, uh, my YouTube channel to help me recover from this post-traumatic stress of the whip and nay nay and the, uh, the beautiful natures of the DC trip. Also, one more thing, I did meet this business architect dude from Texas, and like, he legit owns a company, an architect company, and he was gonna build a cemetery in the Philippines. I was like, dude, that's awesome. And it was pretty awesome. I, like, I met him on the subway. Like, I met most of my people, by the way, all most of my friends, either on the subway or on the elevator. Like, I straight up started talking to him out of nowhere. I also fist bump exploded the uh, lobby desk dude. He was pretty awesome. The next person I walked into the elevator with, I told him about the story about it. It was pretty funny. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I know there's not a lot much I can else can say, but I'd say if I'm if I'm making anybody's day, you know that's awesome. Thank you so much for watching, even though you know there's not a whole lot of you, but making just make one person's day is awesome. So you know what, you're all awesome, and see you around. <laughs>